the restaurant industry. It has taken a big hit during the pandemic, and most of them are doing everything they can to survive. Yeah, but some restaurants across the Southland, as they reopen, others are finding it very hard to do so. CBS 2's Alex Biston has more on one struggling spot tonight. It's like every day, um, I think it's the internal fighting for myself. Should I go on or should I give up? As she fights back tears, Chris King explains the struggle of owning and running a restaurant during COVID-19. It was really hard. We've been constantly, even though we are off, we've been constantly renovating. We've been constantly um, trying to uh, meet the city's guidelines. Kang owns Bulgogi Hut, an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue restaurant in Koreatown. That's been closed for months. And just like countless businesses, Kang is forced to adapt. I decide to um, do some kind of pop-up business where I could utilize my employees and then we have a kitchen space where we could establish new business. That new outdoor concept is now called Chicken Hut. While it's not the same experience as Korean barbecue, it's a way for the business to stay afloat. We have to change some menu where people actually love our food, can take it home to cook it themselves as a barbecue kit, or they could also come in, you know, get the, free, uh, the food that was already prepped by our chef. Before COVID-19, King says people would wait in line for hours just to eat here. And just last night, she said she served only three tables. King's daughter Michelle posted about the restaurant's fight on social media, explaining how her mother, a South Korean immigrant, is doing everything she can to save her business. One of the people hoping to help is food blogger Kevin Nopovar. Going to come here, show, just just give them some exposure, and and hopefully drive some business their way. I, I know a lot of restaurants right now need it. This is my last resort to fight back. A fight against the COVID-19 economy. This family is hoping it can win. In Koreatown, Alex Biston.